Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you um, three um, products that I think just kind of um, slip under the radar just a tad. Um, and yeah, so um, the first product that I think just kind of, it, it just, I think, slides into people's radars mainly because um, it's got the whole luminous claim, um, is the IT Cosmetics um, Your Skin But Better CC Cream Illumination. I'm wearing this today, and the reason why I think that this kind of just slips under the radar is because um, people with oily skin, such as myself, I think overlook products such as this because it has the luminous um, uh, claim in there of, oh, it's going to make me look like a disco ball. And, um, you know, if I'm oily, why would I put something that, you know, says it will illuminate, meaning make my skin glowy? Why, why would I do that? Because it's just going to make my skin look more oily, right? No, it, it gives your skin this most beautiful finish. And it's like this lit from within glow. I mean, I have pretty oily skin and I don't see um, a problem with it. So, um, I, I love this so much. And the SPF with, um, the CC cream is amazing. I mean, it's 50, uh, 50 plus, um, SPF. So this is a great source of SPF. Um, it's got wonderful coverage. I feel like I just did a get ready with me this morning and I feel like uh, a lot of times I don't need a spot concealer because it just covers so well. Um, and I, I do have um, some acne, so I do, and some acne scarring and whatnot, and so I do like to cover up sometimes. But a lot of times this is all I need, um, and I just, I love this so much. The staying power is phenomenal. Again, especially for somebody that has pretty oily skin, this doesn't start really breaking down on me until about hour 13, which is amazing for me because usually a foundation will start breaking down around the six to eight hour mark. I usually only have to touch up once with this product. So I, that's just a true testament. If you are an oily skin person, I strongly suggest you check this out, whether it be this one or even the regular one. I love the regular version. I just, I ran out of it and I haven't been able to repurchase it yet, but I love the regular version. This I have fallen in love with. I've never tried it before and um, QVC was running a TSV on it um, a couple of months ago and so I went ahead and picked it up um, and I just fell in love with it. So it's awesome. Um, the retail value of um, either the uh, illumination or the regular one is $38. You can get it on Ulta's website or Ulta stores. Um, I think you can get it on um, QVC, and if you get it on QVC, I believe you get a brush with it. So there's a good deal for that because their brushes run pretty expensive. So um, and then of course on the It Cosmetics website. So once again, this is just an amazing foundation. The I other freaking love this. I think just slips under the radar because it's just so neutral. Um, is the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. You guys have heard me talk about this uh, before, and I love this because it is such a beautiful, um, it's, it's a beautiful wash of just natural color. Um, most people would completely pass this up because it looks like it's not gonna show up, right? Because it's so light. Well, when you put this on, it gives your skin this really pretty glow that I honestly, when I picked it up, I wasn't expecting um, it to look as good as it does, to be honest with you. Um, there's a, a light swatch of it right there. Um, hopefully you can see that. I just love this. This is just so, so pretty. Um, the, uh, the pigmentation on this is great. Um, I know that this was a this was a really bad swatch, but I promise the pigmentation is really awesome. Um, you don't need very much of this uh, as far as for it to show up on your skin. Um, I just love this blush. I think that it it goes with any eye look because it is so neutral and it's just it's one of those that's understated because you think you look at it you go eh it's not really going to show up 
And so I feel like a lot of people pass this by because that's immediately what they think. And then people like me, I looked at this in the store and I honestly, I thought the same thing. And then I thought, oh, well, I'll just try it out. And it blew me away just how pretty it is. So I suggest you guys check this out. This is awesome. Um, Milani runs a little bit more pricey in the drugstore. I believe I paid almost $9 for this. So, um, but it's a fairly big um, compact, honestly. I mean, here's my the size of my palm. So it's pretty much that size. So it's a really decent amount, honestly. Um, let's see if I can find the, the weight. Um, it's 0 0.60 ounces or 17 grams. So, and being the fact that you don't need a ton of it, it, this is gonna last you for a long time. Um, so you can get this at really any drugstore that I've seen. Um, I can get it at my CVS. Um, I think Walgreens carries it. Um, yeah, I I love this so much. So this is a great, great the last gift. product that honestly I think just since so many more eyeshadow palettes have come out, I think that this brand just kind of slips under people's um, radars now. And it's the uh, ever popular Wet n Wild brand. Um, I have one of their trios here. This is the um, Walking on Eggshells trio. This was the very first um, eyeshadow palette, I guess you could say, that I ever purchased when I first was getting into makeup, which was about, gosh, I think it's been like five years now, which is insane. Um, so this is what that trio looks like. It's a very neutral trio. Um, I personally love the shade uh, selection. You've got this really nice um, kind of satiny peach color, a really, really nice matte medium brown, and then a really gorgeous highlight, um, which you don't have to use them in the order that they show you, but um, I just, I love the shade selection. It's gorgeous. Um, these are extremely pigmented. I mean, look at that. That is just, especially for how cheap they are. I mean, it's, the pigmentation is amazing. I mean, that is literally one swipe of each. There's a, um, there's a look at uh, the shades. Isn't that a pretty selection? I just love the shade selection. Um, now, uh, these palettes are super cheap. The trios run, at least at my drugstores, they run about $2.99. And then the bigger, they have eight pan palettes, and those run, I believe, about $8.99. So they're not too much different, but the pigmentation, you still get the same amount of wonderful pigmentation as you do in these trios um, with the eight pan palettes. So those are amazing. I have two of them, um, and they are just awesome. I just... I really think this brand has just gotten under people's radars just because of all the other um, makeup brands that are coming out with these kind of things. I feel like um, this brand just kind of gets gets kind of tucked away in the back because with all the new stuff coming out. Um, but honestly, I love this brand so much. The pigmentation is amazing for a lot of their products. I know that Wet n Wild has had some misses. Many brands have had some had hits and misses, but I do think that this brand just keeps on um, giving great, great products, great quality at really, really wonderful prices. I just love that. So, um, yeah, this palette is awesome, and really anything from the Wet n Wild line is great. I have several of their um, trios. Again, a couple of the um, eight pan palettes, and I just love them so much. So, um, yeah, I think that these are um, so a little bit um, underrated. that is it for um, the three products that I think are um, kind of under people's radars. So, I hope um, you enjoyed this. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.